Hello everyone, welcome to TechTood. In this given question, we have been given a schedule and the question is that which one of the following option is correct? That is, do we have dirty read problem in this schedule or do we have repeatable, I mean non-repeatable or unrepeatable read problem or do we have phantom problem? Okay, so we have to identify which of the problem we have in this given schedule. Fine. So first of all, we need to understand what is dirty read problem. Okay. So as name suggests, dirty read. We are reading something which is dirty. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that we are reading a value. Okay. For x, before, let's say a transaction t two. Okay. Let's say this is x and a transaction t two has done some modification over x. That is, it has written the value of x. Now it has not yet committed and another transaction t1 is trying to read this value okay so it has written it it wants to transaction t1 wants to read okay so in this case t1 is trying to read a value which is not yet committed okay it means that it is trying to read a dirty value fine so that is the problem of dirty read now we have an repeatable read problem so it means when you repeat a read you get some different value what i mean to say is let's say for a value x a transaction t1 reads it fine so it performs a read i'm writing it like this so t1 performing read now meanwhile what happened is another transaction t2 has done some modification that is performed some write and then again if transaction t1 is trying to read the same x so it will read some different two different values of x okay so that is the problem of non repeatable or unrepeatable read the next one is phantom phenomena what is phantom pheno phenomena phantom phenomena is let's say we have a record here now what happens when a transaction t1 does select operation over this okay so basically performs read then it reads the number of tuple it reads is let's say tx or i should call it x fine now whenever the next time the same transaction t perform read the number of tuple is x plus something let's say lambda okay so this trans the same trans transaction t finds some phantom tuple phantom tuple means the tuple which is not already i mean previously there but it has newly arrived okay so find some phantom tuple okay so this is a problem where we get some new tuples when we perform two reads over the same variable okay so that is called phantom problem now in the given schedule we have to find out which of the following problem is there fine so with the given data it is very difficult to identify what is uh, whether there is a phantom problem or not so first we will start with uh, checking for dirty read problem so how do we do dirty read i mean we have to check whether some transaction has produced or i mean the written the value of variable and it has not committed yet but another transaction is reading it so you can clearly see that over a variable a this transaction t2 is performing write okay and then it has committed it here okay and then it is reading right so if this commit was not here let's say if this commit was somewhere here and before this commit this transaction is reading then in this in this case we could say that there is a problem of dirty read but as transaction t2 after writing has already committed it before transaction t1 is reading so we can say there is no problem of dirty read okay now unrepeatable read problem so you can clearly see that transaction t1 is performing read here and then transaction t1 is performing read on the same variable here right on both a variable they are performing read fine so there are two read operations and between these two read operations there is a write write by another transaction right so this write has changed the value of variable a and now what we are getting what we are getting here 
may be different from what we have already read okay so it means between some duration when i'm performing or when this transaction t1 is performing to read it is getting two different value fine so in this schedule we have problem of unrepeatable read okay so we have this problem here unrepeatable read so this is our correct option